All right, so this is the water pump problem. We're pumping water up into a t top of a tower, and the top of a tower has a spherical tank, and the horsepower required, the horsepower of the pump is is 1.5 horsepower. That's the, I guess, the energy the pump uses to, or I don't know if it's work or whatever, the power the pump uses to pump the water up. And so that's the, that's the power of the pump, 1.5 horsepower. And then you have this conversion that there's one horsepower is equal to 550 foot pounds of torque. And if you convert your 1.5 horsepower into feet pound, I said torque, but of work per second, then it, it comes up to 825. Make sure you have that number. That's an important number at the, for the end. So 825 feet pound per second. Got that? Mm -hmm. All right. Now um, we put the spherical tank that has a diameter. I initially made a huge mistake and made that the radius, like last night, a diameter of 24 feet, of 24 feet. Um, that's the diameter of the tank. And, oh, it's a top, it's on top of a 60 foot tower. 60 feet. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we put this sphere on like an XY Cartesian grid, and we're gonna make a little cutout. A little cutout is this guy right here. This is like a thin layer of water on a sphere. And if we draw our sphere over here, draw our sphere in 3D, And if we do a cutout right here, a thin layer, this little thin layer, it's kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, I'm actually doing a pretty good job with it. This little thin layer is going to be a cylinder. All right, so we kind of zoom in on our thin layer. It's going to look like this. And mm -hmm. the height of that thin layer is going to be delta x, also known as dx. Okay, so it's like some arbitrary height. And the location of the thin layer is x star i. So he has this as being like, um, that's interesting. So yeah, he says that the, it's located at x star i. So it seems like he's calling this, he's kind of making this like the x axis, I think. Mm -hmm. That's all right. So, which is fine. So he's, he's saying that this is x, x star i. Where on the zoomed in cylinder? Oh, so if you have because everything is kind of related to everything is kind of with respect to the vertical distance. Uh huh. Okay. So it's like, you know, like, I don't know if you remember, like when we had those tower, like at those tower problems and you had like a rope over the tower. Yeah. He just, you call it, you call this distance X, even though it's Y because it's just the only one you have, you don't have X and Y. So you're just, yeah. gonna make, you're just making it X, even though it's going vertical. So yeah. that's, what, that's what he's doing. And I think he's just, he's putting this little cross right here just to kind of indicate like a zero value for your X. It's okay. Kind of like having a zero here on your X and then having a one and a two and then, I mean, a, that would be dumb, a negative one. He's just having it vertical. Okay. So you don't have to think of it. I don't think you, I don't think we're going to hear, but I don't think he's making it like a classic X by axis. Okay. Okay. You got all that? 
Um, yes. All right. Did I answer your? Oh yeah. So your x y is just all, all on that vertical line. X i, okay. you mean? I mean x i, x i star. X yeah. All right. Uh, Hold on a second. Oh, and then he made this little like little box for the ith layer. That's our layer. That, that, that's this guy right here called the ith. The ith. The ith layer. It's like if Mike Tyson said ice. <laughs> that's not nice. So, <laughs> so here, here. No, he's saying all right. Just for this layer here, we're going to have a little like an ith layer. Because what you do is you're going to get everything set up for the ith layer. And if you have your ith layer all set up, then you take your integral. So basically, okay. you want to find the work on the ith layer. Okay. Okay? Okay. So here's this little category here for us. Distance and work. I like that. Okay. Find the force. Maybe we need one more roll. Oh, he's one slow. more roll for the volume. Volume goes above that. I thought that. Okay. Okay. The base is the circle. So prime R I square will give the base oh, and and this distance and this radius right here. This radius of the ith layer is going to be called R I. Okay. All right. Everything's kind of the same as the video I saw yesterday. So here's R I right here. So that's that's the radius of the of the ith layer. Yeah. Okay. Not to be confused with the radius of the actual circle, which is yes, twelve. The ith layer. Yeah. So we got the volume. Okay. The volume of the ith layer. Now I keep thinking about your Mike Tyson comment. The, oh, no. <laughs> the Mike Tyson layer. <laughs> the ice. The ice layer. Ice layer with me. Okay. <laughs> um. What? So the volume is pi r squared times height. Base area yeah. times height, right? Yep. All right. So the volume of the ith layer, our little sliver right here, right? Yeah. Maybe our sliver needs some color. Right here, this guy right here. This, that, no, it does not need some color. Okay, that made it worse. So the I have a guess for what it is. Huh? I think I can guess what it is. What? Pi, Pi R I. Pi R squared. I. Squared. Delta X. All right. Base area times height. Look at that. All right. Let's keep going. The volume, since everything's it's made of cube, is the unit for the volume. Okay. Fit, and he's saying feet cube is the unit for the volume, which makes sense. Because mm -hmm. we're, all, we're all in a feet language here. Feet cube. All right. All good. All good. And there's information given in the problem twenty instead of problem twenty two. Uh, that should also have have to be given in the twenty four as well, which is the water density. Oh, so you need some extra information here. So you got to get the water density. So we gotta go over here and draw a little a little FYI box. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and water density, according to your book, not the real world, water density in feet, it's different if you were in meters, by the way. There are meter problems. In feet is coming up. Water density is 62.5 pound per feet. 62.5 pound per feet cubed. 62.5 pound per feet cubed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this much feet cubed will get 62.5 times this much pound. So force becomes this 62.5. Hi, oh yeah, okay. And then over here, okay, so it's kind of weird, but if you want to know force, force is um, weight in America. So this, yeah. this number here, pounds, has gravity built into it. Okay. Okay, it's different when you're dealing with like mass, because mass, you gotta deal with gravity separately. But okay. when we get on a stand on a scale, they've taken gravity into account. So oh. it's a little simpler than when you have meters type problems. So if you wanna figure out force, you're gonna wanna do volume times weight density. Okay. All right, so you go here. So this equals. So let's put that down. But let's put down the little formula here. So force, which is volume times or water density. Okay. So then you would end up you would end up with your pi r. I squared delta x, right? And that's we could put that we could we could put down feet cubed. Feet cubed. So you can kind of see what's going on. Feet cubed times water density, which is sixty-two point five pounds over feet cubed over feet cubed and you're going to see that the feet cube walk right back mm -hmm. leaving you with pounds which is force okay so we have we have that yes okay Square delta x, and our unit becomes pound. You skip all that. Okay. Right, hold, on. hold on. Okay. Hold on one sec. You're good. Okay. Front liquid inside. That will change this number. Water density is 62.5 pounds per feet cube. Okay. Some kind of liquid, such as alcohol or oil, will have a lower number than this, smaller number than this. So he's saying, like, heads up, that's the water, that's the density of water. Every liquid's got its own density. You gotta know this is water. This is yeah. water's density all right gatorade is different correct so it's alcohol yeah okay. what about distance how do we get distance here so now we're on distance
This is why you're really ghetto. Uh, yeah. okay. and, oh, did I bring the butt off? Yes, you did. Here, do you want yeah. to Can I just have a spoon, maybe? No. Okay. So look, so for, for your your distance, all right, this, la this other guy right here mm -hmm. is talking about the fact that we have we have 60 feet right here. This is 60 feet. Okay? Are you there? Wait, where's... Oh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. Right here. Okay? That's kind of distance. Also, something else is interesting is that this is 12 feet. So from here to here, from this radius, the actual radius of the circle is 12 feet, not 24. It caused me to redo, like... An hour's worth of work last night. 12 feet. Okay. Graduate. Okay. Okay. 12 feet is diameter. 12 feet is the radius. Okay. 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 Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the total distance? 24 plus 16 will be. Very top layer. This layer will be different. What would this be? What would the distance needed be here? The distance of what? So, what is the distance? I'm going to ask it here. Good question. What is the distance from the top of the tower to? Sliver. What's the distance from the top of the tower to our sliver? Um, twelve minus x. No. What is the distance from the top of the tower, top of the tower to? Our tiny cylinder to our tiny cylinder. I mean, the bottom of the tower. From the bottom of the tower. Yeah, from the bottom. Of oh, the tower. I was thinking about it in terms of just the circle. Yeah, from the bottom of the tower. Bottom. Okay. Would you like another go at it? Yeah. Okay, what do you say? It's from the bottom of the tower. Um, actually, no, I don't want to have another go at it. Okay, I don't either. But I do think it's going to be... It's... It's 60 plus 12, and then maybe minus xi. Unless XI is with respect to the bottom, but if, I feel like it's with respect to the origin down mm -hmm. there. But let's see what he says. So we have to think also, what is the before moving the water, and what is after moving the water? Before moving the water, the tank is empty. After moving the water, the tank is full of water. So we subdivide the water layer by layer and consider how much work is needed to fill in that layer, that particular layer. Okay. So that's before giving zero to the center of the sphere. Right? Yeah. yeah. What number should be given? Yeah, we gave zero to the center of the sphere. We said this was zero, right? Yeah. Okay. It's important. Okay. The bottom of the tank. So it's minus 12. Okay, cool. This is where he starts to differ from the video. So he's saying this, which makes sense, is minus 12. Do you get that? Okay. 
because where minus, minus wait, where twelve minus, from the well, center the ice from the layer? center. No. From the center to the bottom of the circle is negative oh, twelve. Yeah. Right? And it sounds mm -hmm. to me like you'd have to go negative sixty to get to from that to get to the ground. What do you think? He says, what about the bottom of the tower? Doesn't his, his lectures make so much more sense when you prepare for three hours? Because he, what, was, what about the bottom of the tower? Um, I don't, I don't know. I was not focused on what he was saying. I was well, eating soup. Well, what do you think? If it's if it's negative twelve to get the bottom of the sphere, how much further do you got to go? I think going to be like negative seventy two. Mm -hmm. If it's with respect to if it's with respect to zero, wouldn't the floor be at negative seventy two? Yeah, that does make sense. All right. Yeah. Numbers should be assigned to the bottom of the tower. Oh, we're assigning numbers. I like that. So we're we're putting it like on a literal axis. I say I vote for negative seventy two. Um me too. Okay. Should be well, assume Jing say He's getting there. What is it? Say it, Sunjin. <laughs> Come on. He's so slow, gosh. Oh, yeah, he is. He's not. He's fast. He's just we're up to speed. Is he literally? <gasps> wait, he's he's asking people. I think. Oh, nobody will say anything. There's this one girl, Annie Chen. I always see her name, okay. and she always asks him something. Maybe she has an accent, right? I hear her. Come on, Sinjin. In total, it's the 72. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to jump her. Moving from the bottom of the tower to this layer. Great. The distance required is therefore. Wait, wait, here's the million dollar. So he's saying the distance required, therefore. Well, to go to our sliver? Well, I don't know. I mean, oh, hold on. I mean, because you, you have that star eye thing there. Hold on. From the bottom of the tower to the layer. Okay, he's saying the distance from the bottom of the tower so uh -huh. to the layer. So this distance right here, right? Uh huh. Well, I mean, I would say that it's it's seventy two. It would be ne whatever negative seventy. It's negative seventy two plus x i. Let's see. Which is difference between x i star and the negative seventy two. X i star minus negative seventy two will be the distance from very bottom of the tower to the layer. Okay, so the distance from the distance from the bottom of the tower. So the distance from let's see if this makes sense. The distance
from the bottom of the tower of the tower to the layer is he's saying this is how he wrote well, put it down which doesn't exactly make sense to me x i star um, minus minus 72 Mm -hmm. Oh. I would have said. Oh. Well. I would have said negative seventy-two. Oh, 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 oh! I do get it. It's, it's. Oh yeah, totally. It's big. It's hold on. It is. I totally get that. When you figure out when you do distance, it's always. Big number minus little number. So, distance, oh, okay. See, distance equals big number minus small number because distance is always positive, right? So, if yeah. you want to do, if you have a number line and you have like a 10 and you have a 15, it makes a lot of sense because it's going to be 15 minus 10. But, yeah. If you're in the negative world, right? So if you have, let's say, like negative five and positive fifteen, right? It's going to be yeah. the positive number, my, the bigger number, which is fifteen, minus the smaller number, which is why you do that. So that's why he's doing this because this is the big number. See, the big number. Minus a small number. And it doesn't matter. It was really bugging me that xi was not negative. But I yeah. kind of get that because xi is just a number. You don't know right. the number. It's, it, it could have been positive, actually. He could have yeah. done it up here, right? So it's just a big number minus the small number. But in the smallest number, is going to be all the way to the floor. Okay. You got that? Yep. All right. So big number minus... Small number. Okay. I think I found a new career for myself. What I'll do is I'll just listen to lectures of people and then explain them. <laughs> <laughs> so what he's saying is... Okay. Right, thinking is hard to understand if you were like a student, right? And this is it's new. It's hard to understand. Also, this to me... This is not obvious. I don't mm -hmm. think this is obvious at all. No, I think to Sunjing it is though. Right. That's not obvious. Just like when mm -hmm. he like did the whole like um, he said, All right, so then it's gonna be volume times water density, so the unit is pounds. Well, after you uh, wipe stuff out, it's pounds. <laughs> yeah, no, I would not have gotten that just yeah. Bye mom. Okay, so we have x i. Oh, okay, cool. So we have a distance. The distance is x. So if you do, if you go plus plus right here, you go plus plus, right? So the yep. distance. What is the distance to the bottom of this tower to to our tiny cylinder? It's going to be x i. Xi plus seventy two. Star yes, sir. plus seventy two. Got that? I don't know. Sometime after like one thirty. Okay. Yeah, I got that. All right. Okay. Wait, let's just talk about that for a second. So what he's saying is. If you think about it, that is that distance he's talking about uh -huh. is 
is how how far this d cylinder can travel but it's kind of weird to me because you kind of have this f cylinder inside the tube as well but all distorted it's the same volume but distorted that is interesting right yeah i wouldn't have thought of that it makes sense though Distance. And for the RI square, what do we do for RI square? Just a right triangle. Oh, okay. I know what he's about to do. So now he's going to figure out work. And where's that? Don't I have that down here? I never wrote that in. Oh, no, I think he wrote that. He, I think he just wrote that in. Work. So. <clears throat> so that is right here. And he's going to figure out the value of our, our I. Figure out the value of our I. Okay. We don't know our I. We just know it's called our I. Right? Yeah. But now I can see that he's drawing a triangle. And I know where he's oh. going with this. So if we go, if we go and draw our circle again, because mine's getting way too cluttered. So let's just draw another circle right here. And let's go, and we're going to draw our slice. Oh, let's just draw it as a slice. So put it right here. So the two-dimensional slice. Ice. Okay, the ice slice. And then, ice, ice, baby. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to go here. And we got our circle. Well, we know we know what this is. <clears throat> 12. We know it's 12. And we also know what this is. 12. No. Well, I think he's calling it. X I oh. X star I so it seems to me like he's gonna find R1 with the Pythagorean theorem um. I'm gonna watch let's watch okay My triangle. triangle with the radius is 12 feet. With the 12 there. And this vertical side length is absolute value, x i star. And he put absolute value, which was what the guy in the video also did, because it can't be neg. He wants to keep it mm -hmm. positive. I don't quite understand that, because in the work, we end up squaring it, which forces it positive anyway. This is the r i. So r i okay. is square root of 12 square minus. Okay, ri. So now let's use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so we'll say ri, ri squared plus xi squared, which I don't know why you need absolute value, equals 12 squared, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Then let's skip some Pythagorean theorem steps. And we're going to go R, because I'm mostly because I'm running out of room. R mm -hmm. I <laughs> is equal to the square root of 12 squared, which we could write as 144 mm -hmm. minus X I squared. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that is for work? Oh, no. That's the radius okay. of the ith sliver. Oh, uh, okay. I th square. Okay. We use that. Our i square would remove the square root. So we get that yeah, see? square minus x i star. Okay. Oh, 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 by the way, I'm wrong about that. If we, if, 
I think I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. So here, this is this goes down right there. Okay, then I'm gonna get rid of. T, is that your ride? Okay, so yeah. it's you have to say r squared. R squared is equal to all the stuff squared, right? So R squared, R squared, back up, it just happened here. Oh no, yeah, yeah, so wait, R, yeah, so R squared is equal to that. That means that Ri is equal to the square root of that. Maybe that's what we already had, but you have to, here we have that. Okay, then, that's that. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, so then we're going to go over to our work section. We're going to need this value, and it's going to go in right here. Okay, so <coughs> is going to be our... Okay, hold on. It is, oh yeah, it is our force times distance, right? It's okay. going to be, it's going to be our, our force times distance. Well, we have, we know our force. Mm -hmm. It's right above. It's, mm -hmm. right, it's right up here, mm -hmm. right? So force is I I R I squared delta X times 62.5. Wait, how come I, yeah, right. You with me? Yeah. Okay, or let me just write the way he wrote it, which is 62.5 pi, okay, then I'll just r i squared, kind of running with the delta x, which should be there, delta x. Uh -huh. Now, this value here. <laughs> is what we just figured out right here mm -hmm. right so this can go oops all the way that can go right there right yeah okay. yeah and since you're squaring it you can take off the root mm. okay so 62.5 pi times 144 minus x i bam or should we leave the bread bread crumbs um i already wrote a note saying because r squared is r squared the squared leaves, oh, I, leaves. Hold on. there 144 minus x i squared squared delta x okay which becomes 62.5 pi 144 minus xi squared delta x okay <coughs> he left it as 12 squared by the way i wonder why he did that part is done yeah mm -hmm. now we multiply the distance Okay, now he's multiplying that value times the distance. So then times, put that in, I would keep it, if you have this in a color, as the same color as that. So that's times, times, x, i, star, 
plus 72. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the distance. That is like the dis the, that's the movement of the water, like the total movement of the water. Yeah. That's the total possible movement of the water. Yeah. Like this is like, this is where this right here is, the distance the water can move. The distance, since this water moves to the sliver, water moves to, to the, to slice, to the slice. All right, and let's keep going. The delta x. Okay, and you stuck the delta x at the end, which I find to be annoying, because it was already no. in the other problem. It should have been included already. Right yeah. There. But I know why it goes at the end, because when you integrate, it goes at the end, but I don't like that. Okay. The unit is feet pounds. Oh, and the unit is feet pounds. He's kind of saying, like, listen, we're dealing with pounds. It's going to end up being feet pounds. Okay. Okay, so feet pounds. That's the hardest part of the problem, by the way. Feet pounds. All right. Okay, cool. I, that, this, this is more intuitive than the other video. So then thinking about this, where do you think our bounded integration is going to be? So, where, like, we're going to add up... 0 to 72? I think it's going to be from negative 12 to 12. Uh -huh. Because oh, okay. we're filling up the tank. So it's like, how much work is it to fill up the tank? I think that's why it's set like that. The total work required is that... Integral. So you're going to drop everything in your integral that we have so far. Okay. So you get your integral sign. <clears throat> Copy everything you see. Put it there. You can go ahead and put your dx at the end if you want. I'll do that too. So this becomes a dx. Technically, I think that um, xi star just becomes x. X, yeah. This becomes dx. This just becomes x. Okay. Let's see what it says about the boundaries. Where x plus 72 and dx about what do we put? x to x about be as low as? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So, mm -hmm. this is lowest value of xi star. Okay. Lowest, see, not lowest total value, lowest value that xi star can go. Lowest value that your sliver can go. Lowest value of That's why it's not like negative 72. So highest value, value of, of x i star. All right, so then negative 12 to 12. Um, okay, wait one second. I don't get why it's negative 12 to 12. Okay, hold on. I just lost where I was in the video. Hold on a second. Hmm. 
that's a very important concept. So that's been bugging me. Okay, so so we have we we kind of so like the total movement of this water. Okay, the, there's like two X's kind of. You have mm -hmm. like your regular normal X, okay, which is which is the distance from the bottom of your contraption to your your sliver. Wait, one more time. Okay, so this distance right here, this this number, this distance, like on when you have that work formula, which is work equals force times distance. Mm -hmm. This is this distance is the distance to your slice. Okay, from the bottom of the contraption. Okay. Okay. This distance, xi, is, is the distance of your slice. So when you establish your xi, that is where your slice is located. Okay. Positive xi. All right. Now, your boundaries are where you want to start adding up all your slices. We want to start adding up all our slices starting here and then add, 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 right to there. We want to add up from negative 12 to positive 12. We don't want to add up our, we're not trying to fill up the hose. So we're not trying to fill up from the bottom of the hose all the way up like this. We just want to know how much work will be required to kind of get the water pumped from here to here. Yeah. So I'm trying to make a note for future, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Why is it 12 to 12? What should I write down? I understand okay. what you just said. It's but the movement. It's the movement of the slice. That it's, isn't. I don't think that's going to help. Okay. Do you see? Here, I'm drawing a slice right here. Because to me, that slice implies that it doesn't start in negative 12. You know. It does. Because you because you can't you cannot make that cylinder fit into here. So that slice is bigger here, is bigger here, it gets much smaller. It's all the equations for the slice, the all the, the math that we did, all of this crap, this these equations for the slice are, are confined within here. So it's it's the That's all, I, that's all I can say, really. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It's a really tricky, hard concept and really annoying. Okay. So, lowest value of xi. But it's something to think about when you're doing the other problems. Mm -hmm. And you might make that connection. It might help. I need to revisit it, too, and kind of think about it in the other problems. Yeah. Okay. But I, that was a key thing that I was missing before. That it's, it's there's a distinction between this x value and and this x value. Mhm. Mm right. So. Yeah. Okay. This is this is this is the distance to your slice, and this is like. This is where your slice is located, and this is where your slice can be. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. I understand. And now we just do the integral. Yeah. So we yeah. require the standard conversion to the integral. Okay, so I'm just kind of copy his work. So the work. Plus is yes. about negative 12 to 12 
Exercise start can be as high as the top of the tank. Top of the tank is foot. Okay. Sixty-two point five. Twelve square x plus twelve square times seventy-two minus x cubed. Minus 72 x squared, yes. Okay, so since we, we're just going to, even though he kept it as 12 squared, we're going to just keep going with this. So we're going to go, um, we're going to, wait a minute. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is like this. Don't forget, let's put that in parentheses right there. Maybe you already have it in parentheses. You there? Yeah. Okay. So we have, we're foiling, right? So we have, we're just doing this right here, foil. So we have oh, okay. 144. That's our X. That's our first. Our outside. 44 plus, X. Oh, yeah, you just did that. Plus uh -huh. seven, our outside is plus whatever 144 times 72 is, uh -huh. or outside, or inside, minus, and that, and this is supposed to just be an x, no more xi, right? Right. So minus x cubed. Minus x cubed, uh-huh. And then last. Uh, minus 72 x squared minus 72x squared dx. Double checking with yeah. him, and that's correct. Okay? Okay, so w, All right. w equals... So remove the R function parts. He's doing a trick. Symmetry results. So two times the half side. Okay, and now we're going to diverge and not do what he's about to do. So we're just going to do our thing. All right, so okay. we're going to go like this. He's doing odd symmetry and stuff. So we're going to um, do, so do 62.5 pi and 72 pi. And just open up 144x plus 144 times 72. 144 times 72, 10368, 10368 minus x cubed minus 72x squared, close, dx. Plus, wait, what is that number? Plus 10, 36. Did I mess up? No, no, I just can't read oh, wait, the number. Wait. Is it 10,368? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is that way over there? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. All right. Then, no problem. We take the pi out. We take the 62 and the pi out. The 62.5. So W equals 62.5 pi. Limp, negative 12 to 12. Of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. DX. Okay. Now let us let us integrate. Okay, 1, 44 over 2 x squared plus 10,368 x minus 1 fourth x to the fourth 
minus 72 over 3x cubed, bracket, negative 12 to 12. Is that what you have? Well, let me see. Yeah. All right. So, then we have 62 point four pi bracket. And I'm just a really lazy way to backfire on me like that. I think you plug into a calculator. Totally. What do you mean? Well, let's set it up. Yeah. Bracket, steal all of this. Put that in there. Close. Close. Dropping in negative, dropping in positive 12s. 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 dropping in negative 12s. Negative 12. Negative 12, negative 12, negative 12. Okay, we're going to do this the speedy way. Ish way, speedy ish way. I need to charge my calculators today. Alright, I'm going to just um, store my x is 12 for the first one. Then I'm going to go parentheses 144 over 2 close x squared. And then plus 103368. Six eight one zero three six eight x minus minus one fourth one over four x minus one over no 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 that would be wrong that would be wrong that would be not wrong ish to power four okay so you have Minus one fourth times x to the fourth. Yeah, that's right. Then you have minus parentheses seventy two over three times x to the power of three. All right, that's the first piece. Okay. Which is put it up there for now. So we have 62 point, this is supposed to be 62.5. 62.5, point to him, 62.5. All right, 62.5, bracket, 8, 8, 1, 2, 8, minus, parentheses. All right, and then we're going to plug in negative 12 into the exact same equation. So we're going to go negative 12, store as x, bam, plug it in right there, and we're going to get that number.
and we have negative seven 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 six zero close bracket. All right, now we put it all together. Wait, yeah. I forgot my pi. Okay. Then we're going to add those two numbers together, right? So yep. we're going to go this number. I'll just, I'll just say minus that number, which means I'm adding them. Minus yeah. that number times 62.5 pi. 62.5 pi. Ooh, that's a good looking number. So we have here this. Is that a good looking number? Does Sung Jin have that? He did. He had one that looked like that. Oh, yes. The answer, I know the answer is something like 10.9, 10.97 seconds. Okay, so 10.97 hours. So then you have here, so you have 3, 2, 5, 7, 2, 0, oh, 3. Normally it's not a nice looking number in the real world, unless it's your paycheck. 3, 2, 5, <laughs> 7, 2, 0, oh, 3, two. Okay, so great. Well, that number is our work number, and that work number is in pound feet or something like that. Feet pound or whatever that unit is. So, uh, what is that unit? Pound feet feet pound. All right, so that's foot pound. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. But wait, uh -huh. we know from earlier that our pump can do 825 feet pound per second. So we go over here. After all, the unit they want is time. Okay, so we'll go here. Don't really need that stuff. And so then you take that number right here. Oops. You take this number. Oh my gosh. That number. Ah. Click away. Okay. Take that number. You're going to go three, two, five, seven, two, oh, three, two point six, three foot pound over one times eight hundred and twenty five foot pound per one second. But wait, we don't want the answer in seconds. So then we go like this and we say, because I just memorized it, 3,600 seconds Ooh. in one hour. Or you could do a two-stepper like this. You can say, all right, well, I know that there are, there are 60 seconds in one minute. And I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. See how this to multiply together is 3,600? Yeah. Okay, so then you go here and you go gone, 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 hours wins. You go over here. Seconds? Oh, yes, they did. Seconds got destroyed. So you go over here, divided by. Eight to five times sixty. See how I'm doing this in parentheses? Times sixty. Close. Yeah. Enter. Look at that number. Ten point nine. He took it to the thousandth place for whatever reason. Ten point. So we have here. Which is Ten point nine six seven seconds. Seconds? I thought Wait, it was hours. Hours. Hour. Who said that? Hours. I, well, I was saying that on auto mode, on autopilot. I was thinking, yeah. thank God we're done with this. That's what that was going through my mind when I said seconds. Okay. So that's it. Okay. 
number 22. All right, any questions on this sucker? Not on this one, but... We could do optimization. I'm going to turn off the recording. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to say, because the one thing... I'm actually feeling pretty okay about...